It's 20 to 4 on the 11th of May, and after quite a lot of planning and careful preparation, we've just been gathering our things together so that we can go and attempt a traverse of the Kulin Ridge. The weather is absolutely beautiful out at the moment, and the forecast is for it to stay good, so that's, that's looking hopeful. Um, and we've just been laying everything out on the bedroom floor to make sure we've got everything before we pack it away into the rucksacks. Here's Dad, look, making some final preparations. You are feeling uh, happy, Dad? Yes, I've put all the heavy things in your rucksack. Excellent, that's what I like to hear. So mine only weighs about three kilos. You see Dad's got the, the tent and the, the climbing gear there, and helmet. Food. Rucksack, already half of it in. And Food. I've got various treats, like the rope, and the, uh, the licorice all sorts, and, and the crisps. Food. And food, yes, that well put. Excellent, so I suppose pack it all away now. Yeah. Quarter to five, we got to the Glenbrittle campsite and managed to procure a few last minute supplies from the campsite shop. The sun is gorgeous, it's like a beach resort here. Dad's just getting his boots on, look. Mum, ready to. We might just get our swimming trip. <laughs> well, you first. Mum's supervising. Supervising and already and briefed with the our support. rendezvous points, the support team. Um, so what was it ook weer? Vanavond om 12 uur moet ik langs rijden. That, that's right. <laughs> nee, om 6 uur. Nee, wat was het nou? Um, See, ik ben het al vergeten. Up there, <laughs> you can see the ridge currently bathed in blue skies and sunshine. These are, I think I know His house is in the village though He will not see me stopping here To watch his woods fill up with snow Well, we're just stopping for a break in the beautiful ice-scoured Corrie Grunder, or at least the lower part of it. Um, about another 350 metres to go up uh, to where we hope to find a little camping spot. Well, we've got the tent set up. It's amazing how once you stop moving and you come in out of the sun, the temperature drops very sharply. It feels freezing. Um, we've got the tent over there, look. Looking nice and comfortable for later. Two 
sleeping bags. Dad's hung his t-shirt out to dry. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting the stove ready to cook dinner. Is that right, Dad? Yep. What, what's on the menu tonight at the Pasta Hotel Corrie Grunda? Mum's special sauce, followed by fruit salad and pineapple, coffee, chocolate, <laughs> and that's your lot. Sounds fantastic. And bedtime. Well, it's 20 past 5 in the morning. Obviously slightly later than I normally like to get. <laughs> um, well, I wanted a lion. I had a fairly comfortable night's sleep, although and it is such a ridiculously early start. Very cold outside. Dad's just getting a cup of tea on the go. Morning, Dad. Morning, Dave. Mmm, lovely, Dad. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, Dave. We haven't really got to get out and walk, have we? We're, no, we're, no. we're just going to stay just lying here all day. Lie here all day. Good. Good. I'm glad we got that sorted. <laughs> well, it's twenty past six. We've stashed all our gear away, all our camping gear behind a rock, and packed everything up, and we're ready to make the first part of our journey, which is to head out to Gars Ven from the quarry. We've reached the BLAC and we're going to stash our rucksacks here whilst we make a quick dash over to Gars Ven. <laughs> Well, we've made it to the summit of Gars Ven, and I think I can safely say this is the first time I've ever stood at 890 metres at 10 to 8 in the morning and thought of it as the start of the route. <laughs> uh, we can see pretty much all of the ridge and the journey to come, and we've got an amazing view out to sea and to the Scottish mainland. There you can see Nan Iag and Skrallas there. A bit further along you've got Maddy or Marta, Bidian Drumnan Ram, Bruach Nafrith, Ambastia and Skurnan Gillian. So quick sip of water and then pretty much back the way we've come unfortunately. 